Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So, um, as expected yesterday, we did get some profit taking happening down here, and I just want to get to the weekly because this is very, very important here. And I'm just going to create a weekly zone. Let's just test these things. Okay, there's going to be three levels here. I'll explain now what we're doing. So basically, we've got the swing high here, we've got the swing high there, and the swing high. So those are my levels. Um, it's inside of price. In other words, price is moving up, and they're on the left of price. Price has gone past them. So those are the levels. Those are the breakouts. They were tested here, uh, sort of just going at the close of 2020. They were sort of tested a little bit, uh, but it wasn't really a significant test. Then you can see we tried to test here, failed, and now we're very much inside that area. So that's the zone that I want to be watching today. And probably, uh, well, possibly, not probably, but possibly the whole of the week. So at the moment, we are going parabolic. So you can see if you draw a line along your trend lines, you can see you know, it's kind of curving, going parabolic at the moment, which is always a, a concern. And we did form a inside bar, pin bar, off structure on Friday going into close. With the oscillators grouped to the downside, so not an area I want to be jumping in long just yet. Um, that would be picking a bottom, and I don't think that's the wise thing to do right now. Three hour, exactly the same thing. Far away from moving averages, uh, everything is just pointing towards, uh, yeah, being very, sorry, let's try that again. Everything is pointing towards telling me to be cautious and not chase the shorts just yet. This is the structure we have to the upside, and that is at 29,987. So any move back up into that area would definitely be something worth watching for another move to the downside or continuation to the downside. Don't want to be jumping in down here. If we get onto the hour, uh, you can see a little bit of a, a crossover here on the, the oscillators. Don't trust that though especially since this is where we closed and we've got a bit of a weekly gap open at the moment. So nothing really changes. That's the area I would be interested in the short. And that's 29.987. Uh, let's just get down to the 15 minute, see if there's anything we can see here. Uh, clear downtrend on the 15 minute, you can see that. And uh, Friday's, Friday's price action wasn't really conducive. Uh, to helping you get in but I suppose if you just as soon as we broke through this area here you can see we came back above it but then you've got the inside bar so it wasn't really structured and this is uh, this is just before uh, the, the European markets opened when this happened here and you can see we just gradually fell well not gradually fell it was quite a quite a fall that was uh, 2.5% move down or 750 point move to the downside. Um, also a bit of a triangle, flat bottom triangle breakout. So all those uh, bearish structures have played out. So for me at the moment, you, you need to find something else. And uh, you can see we could be some kind of a structure forming here for a break to the upside. But any break to the upside is going to be contained by any one of these tails here. So um, let's just go through this. First prize would be a rejection of 29,987. Definitely would be looking for shorts up there. Second prize is going to be a rejection here of 29,684. Everything is all over the place at the moment. I definitely don't want to be jumping in long uh, down the bottom here. As I said, that's going to be bottom picking and uh, it's not a very clever move to do. So the only time you, we're going to switch to uh, direction is when we get a confirmation on at least the hour that the trend has changed. So you can see what I'm talking about here. Here was a confirmation that the trend was about to change and then we changed. So you know, in this area you would have seen opportunity to buy. This was a surprise and obviously got below the moving averages and uh, ever since then you've been looking for opportunities to short. So until that changes, you are still looking to short. And uh, that is a structure that I'm looking for anyway. What we could also get, I'm just going to drop to the five minutes for this because you can see we are 
trending down on the five minutes as well. So what we could get is sort of a rejection and a drift down here during the European session before a, a pretty strong rally up to probably close the gap, uh, the opening gap. Although it is closed on the five minute, but on the higher time frames it's still open. So you'll still expect price to come back into that area uh, and then see what can happen later on. So, yeah, if you've got time this morning, watch the five minute. Probably well worth it. You probably get some opportunities off that. And uh, just pay attention to the levels I've given you. And uh, these levels to downside are critical. So 29,232, it's a weekly level. Don't expect us to just fly through that. 29,014 or 2,900 is another weekly level. Don't expect us to fly through that. Um, you're probably going to get buyers coming in there to try and prop this up. So be very careful about that. Um, and then just pay attention to these levels to the upside. This level here is pretty interesting. It's 29,684. Um, if we reject that, then move down to one of these two levels. If we get above this, then I'd expect a rejection higher up at 29.987. And to be honest, that is the area that I'd be paying attention to. This, any one of these tails here would give you an opportunity to get in. Um, and there's a 370 point stop loss. Just pull it above these highs here from Thursday. Uh, whether we get that high, I don't know. Uh, but I think these are the levels to pay attention to. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.